41 through 44, a set of premises and a conclusion are given. Use the valid argument forms listed in table 2.3.1 to deduce the conclusion from the premises, giving a reason for each step as an example 2.3.8. Assume all variables are statement variables. Okay, so these problems are tough. And they're tough because there are a lot of assumptions here. So I like to solve this problem by ignoring the implications in our assumptions first. And that's because implications by themselves do not determine what the truth value of the components are within the compound statement form. So instead, we'll start with part B and part C. So part C is the simplest one to work with. So because not T is true, this means that T must be false. And since T is false, we can now go to part D. According to modus tollens, if the conclusion is false of an implication, that means the hypothesis must be false as well. If the implication itself were to be true, which is the assumption here, all of these A through E were assuming to be true assumptions. So we don't really care when they're false. So because P implies T is true and T is false, this must mean that P is false. Now, since P is false, then that means not P or Q is true. Since not P is true and true or any statement is true. And so because the hypothesis of this true implication is true, that means the conclusion must therefore also be true. So this means R is true. And so now we can look at our last implication here. We have not P and R, not P is true since P is false, and R is true. So that means the hypothesis of this implication is true, which means the conclusion must therefore also be true since the entire implication itself is one of our assumptions. It has to be true. So this means that not S is true. And the truth of each of these statements here, R and not S, is determined by modus ponens. So now that we know that not S is true, this means that S is false. And since S or not Q is true, since it's an assumption, and S is false, that forces not Q to be true. And that rule of inference is elimination. So now we know that not Q is true, which is our conclusion. Now, So now we can officially say that the conclusion is true because all of these assumptions here are true. So the truth of these assumptions logically imply the truth of the conclusion. Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next video.